Hi, my name's Samantha Felgemacher, um, and I sometimes go as Sandwich, and I'm gonna talk to you about not only burns, but stick poke tattoos, um, and how those affected my life. Um, once upon a time, I lived in Arizona, and I worked at Starbucks. Um, and we deal with hot water, 200 degrees, it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes there are some situations. Rogue pitcher of water fell, and I had burns on my feet. Um, amidst all that clamor, I was wondering how I was gonna wash my hair. It was really long at that time, and I was like, Mom, I'm a senior in high school, and it's almost spring break. What am I gonna do? She's like, Samantha, you can't walk. So I, um, with the help of her, went to the ER, um, and they bandaged me up, gave me a shot, sent me home, and were like, great, you need to go to the burn unit. I was like, okay, that's cool, but I have bigger things to deal with right now. I have a calculus test to take. Um, so under the influence of Percocet and clouded vision, um, yeah, no, under the influence of Percocet and clouded vision, I went on crutches with huge bandages to my high school. And I took my test. And first and last time in my life that I've ever gotten 100% in anything calculus related. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, needless to say, it never happened again. Um, and th that day I came home and I had a burn, I had a blister on my, um, on my foot the size of my palm. And I was very stressed because I was supposed to go to Disneyland. I was a senior and I was like, this is awesome, this is a great time in my life. Needless to say, I was on um, bed rest and had to be in a wheelchair. Um, sent me to the burn unit, the burn unit's in Phoenix. I had no idea where Phoenix was. I grew up in the East Valley and said, Phoenix is scary, like, okay. So I go to Phoenix, needless to say, it's a cool hospital, but they also treat inmates there in orange. Um, and that's where they told me, yes, the size of your burn, it, it's bad. You need to have it removed immediately. Um, and I was like, okay, that's really scary, guys. Um, they cut it off. Um, and that's where they explained to me in my fright and terror that, because um, that's what I would want to talk about. They would say, hey, you can curse at us. You can do this. You can do that. And I said, no, guys, like, tell me how big of a pansy I am. And so they're like, okay, there's first degree burns where it just barely hits your skin. Sunburns, irons, water. Second degree burns is where it kind of, it, they, um, it's a deep to a semi, well, semi to a deep partial burn. Um, and that's what I had. And then third, moving on, the third and fourth degree burns are the, um, the scarier ones, the ones that made me really realize that I was completely blessed to only have a burn the size of my palm. Um, and that's where they would say like, yeah, this is a burn that we have to amputate. Um, they would send me home with dressings every single time. They'd send me home with this big vat of like gooey stuff that was silver sulfosidine cream. It um, would heal my burns. They gave me compression socks, which were super sexy. They came up to here. I got to wear them to prom. Um, that was great. But it blessed me enough to have no scarring up anymore. Um, only when I get hot water on my feet, like with the shower, does it look kind of like old man winter. Um, and then at that point in time, my mom and my sister were the ones taking care of me. I was on bed rest. And Huge family, but they were the ones that got the great job of dealing with my um, blisters and my burns that I was a baby about. We had to scrub them, and I cried, and I called them awful names. But during this time, my sister would draw. She perfected the art of the unicorn. Um, she was five, and that's how Trufflefoot came about. Um, she's a Pegasus unicorn. Um, and right now, she lives on my left foot. Um, in the form of a tattoo, because when she gave it to me, maybe under the influence of medicine, I said, I want to get this tattooed on my body. Um, <laughs> yeah, my mom thought I was crazy. Um, my dad didn't find out until after, but I have a beautiful friend that um, does stick and poke tattoos, commonly referred to as prison style tattoos. So it made total sense. I said, yes, like I've battled burns. I've done this with the inmates. Like, this is great. You use. <laughs> So you use a needle and ink, and you hammer at your foot until it stays. Um, so that is what I have to show nowadays for um, the fun of my burns um, and for that awesome time. Um, and in the process of this, um, I got a lot of people in Phoenix 
um, involved with this dear friend, his name's Bob, um, and I now have a Twitter account for my um, tattoo. And it's been awesome. She is a Pegasus unicorn, and I've gotten to educate people on what that is, so yeah. I'll have stickers of her after, so. Thank you.